green pancakes. Can you please taste for us those pancakes and tell us the honest truth? All right, here we go. Can you taste? Why are they green? Look at the color of that thing. Oh, beautiful. Green. Well, it smells Tell good. us. Here we go. Green pancakes. Oh, what? <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? And there it is. Welcome to another vlog. It is 8.22 in the morning and it's super chilly. It's 13 degrees. What are we are doing? I don't want to get a coffee because the day doesn't start without a bloody coffee in your hand. Yes, hot, beautiful coffee. Bowie is here as well. He is having his usual nap in the car. He loves his car rides and we are gonna get coffee. Look at then... this. Every man and his dog wants a coffee right now. <laughs> then we're gonna head to the beach and burn some energy, aren't we? Hey girl, mate, can I just get a large cappuccino extra shot? I suppose you need some money, eh? Yeah, just a tad. <laughs> just a, I don't know, if I can find 11 what's, what's the damage, 11 bucks? Yep. Righto. Could be worse. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Well, we already had his milk this morning, so now it's time for mum and dad to get their coffees. You've got your energy boost, now we need one. Even though you, he now looks so tired. That's what the car does to him, just puts him to sleep. Morning. Morning. How you go, mate? Yeah, good. Cool. Be better after a coffee. Thank you. And your mum Thank you. Have a good one, eh? Cheers mate. Cheers. Cheers. Man, this swell's picked up so much overnight. Are you there's excited? Even, there's even dudes on jet skis doing towings right there. Now when you got a baby goat on the beach, you gotta watch out for dogs. And behind us up on the coast there, there's this bloody dog and it is harassing the goat so bad. So what we gotta do is carry the goat down the beach because one dog will attack this little thing so bad. So. Mac 10's got the go. I'm gonna go for a little walk. We've already necked those coffees. A little bit of a beach walk. Hey, buddy. The burning energy for us, not for him. <laughs> yeah, it's not for me. I want to get in the water. Look at him go. We just got back from the beach and he is already. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm out of here. Look, breakfast, six eggs, handful of bananas, we're going. I just got a call from a mate two hours north of here and he said the surf is absolutely off its head. So I'm out of here. Goodbye, love you. Enjoy, be careful. Be nice to my goat, all right? <laughs> Have fun. All right, I'll be back this afternoon or maybe tomorrow morning, I'm not sure. I'll call you later. See you. See you later. I will do some gardening. Seeing Bowie's gonna eat all my carrot anyway, I may as well try to pull this one out and see if they are ready or not. Oh, that's so exciting. What do you reckon, Bowie? Stop eating my carrot. <laughs> oh, it's gonna pull all of them. Oh, look at this. Oh, they are tiny. Look at all the carrots we've got. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I love it. Our first carrot, guys. Our first carrot. I can't wait to try it. I just gave the carrot a quick clean. And this is how we are looking. It's the funniest shapes. <laughs> so good. To make a carrot cake, I will probably need a little bit more carrots than this. But what I can make are super delicious, healthy, easy pancakes that would be a really good breakfast or what we like to have it is a snack. So I know when Matt's gonna come back from syrup, he will love to have those pancakes. So I'm gonna cook them right now so he have them when he comes and I can show you the recipe. If you would wanna make it super easy, you could use just this. You could use only eggs and bananas and that would be enough. And sometimes I do. Sometimes I only use banana and eggs and that's it, especially if we are camping it's super easy you always have those stuff but I do like to make it a superfood so I have a couple more things that I add to make it first more delicious and second more healthier for you two bananas four eggs one scoop of vanilla protein powder two spoons of flaxseed meal 
one spoon of spirulina, two spoons of hemp seed seed, two spoons of grated coconut, cinnamon. I'm adding some coconut cream to make it a little bit more liquid. I'm gonna add a little bit honey just because my bananas weren't too ripe. And that's it. Now just a quick blend in the blender and we can start cooking. How good is the color of the dough? Green pancakes, but I promise it tastes so good. For the cooking, I use coconut oil. Wait for the pan to be hot and then you can pour your green pancake dough. I usually do more of just a little pancakes. And now we wait for the pancakes to cook and then we'll turn them around, won't we? Bo is being such a menace today, eating every single tree in our garden. I suppose he is just being a goat. Don't get confused by his act now of looking cute. And I need to show you his horn. Look at this. His left horn is growing <laughs> much bigger than the right one, but both of them are growing. Big boy, five weeks. Let's check the pancakes so we don't burn them. They look ready to be turned around. Yes, perfect. And that's it. It works out to be around three or four minutes on one side. I have quite a high heat, but not the fullest. And you just keep going. This is how many pancakes you get from two bananas and four eggs. Look at this beautiful green pancakes. Let's do a taste test when Matty is back so you get a truthful, honest opinion about those green, healthy, sugar-free pancakes. I need to now get some work done on the laptop, but I was just looking at the celery, so I remembered I wanna give you an update. So one of the celery is growing smaller on the top, but look all those roots it created. So it's probably gonna be ready to go into a pot, into a soil. And the second celery has like so much on the top, right? But it has no roots. like. Oh, maybe there is one tiny, tiny one. That's it. It's pretty exciting, but back to laptop. Because Bowie is five weeks now, his feeding has been changed to only twice a day, only in the mornings and in the evenings. He has a bigger portions now, but he doesn't have a, the lunch feed anymore because he is five weeks now. So he's slowly going to be weaned off the milk and he is not happy about it. You can just tell he knows it's the time that he should be getting the milk. And yeah, he is not happy, but it is what it is. Five weeks, he is growing big. A few more hours to go, but we are going to give our chicken some treats. Bo is already there. And then I'm gonna make myself one treat, so I'm gonna show you that. But first, let's give some worms to our chickies. Hello, chickies. Bo is staying there, so you don't have to be scared of him. Look what I've got! We got some new chickens, but they are still very shy and new. So it looks like that our Ostrob has everything to herself. Come on! These black and whites, they are called silver laced. Look how beautiful she is. These are the new babies. They are new here. Not you, you are used to feeding from hand. But these ones are new here, but I think they are enjoying the coop. You girls have a good day. That was the treat for the girls. And now I'm gonna make a real quick treat for myself and you. I'm gonna make homemade chocolate. It's super easy and you need only four ingredients and you will love it. So the only thing you need is coconut oil. You need cocoa powder. You need some honey and a coconut cream. Not coconut milk, but coconut cream. And that's it. You put a little bit of a coconut oil in a bowl. Then you add some honey and mix it together. Then I'm adding one spoon of coconut cream. The more coconut cream you add, the more milky flavor it will be. So if you like dark chocolate, then put only a little bit or none. And now the main ingredients, raw cocoa powder. 
And this is the mixture done. This is how the chocolate looks like. And now you can either way have it plain or we can do some toppings on the chocolate. You can grab any tray or this is just a lid from a plastic box and a baking paper. Cashew nuts, sultanas, date and a dried papaya. I just cut all the toppings onto small pieces and now the artistic part of the chocolate making begins. It doesn't need to be perfect or pretty. We call this handmade rustic, so this is perfectly fine. And now I'm gonna top it off with the nuts and fruits. But as I said, you can choose whatever you like. I'm gonna do part of the chocolate with fruit and nuts. So that will be all my sultanas. It will be the cashew and it will be the dates. The dates and sultana are gonna make it really sweet and like a caramel flavor to it. So this is my fruit and nuts and this is gonna be a new experiment. This side of the chocolate, I'm gonna put the dry papaya with the chili flakes. So it's gonna have that little spice to it. And that's it. We have our two different chocolates. Now we're gonna put it into the freezer for approximately 20 minutes and we have a homemade chocolate. Straight from syrup to building stuff. That's right. You wanna explain what you're doing? Well, hold on. Let me just get this one in. Alright, so what's going on right now is I just got back from probably one of the funnest surfs I've had in a long time. And Mac 10 was absolutely losing <laughs> her sh when I got home. That's She's accurate. Like, I can't live with this goat anymore. Ah! Oi. Nah, the goat is just giving us grief. It is running around eating every single fruit tree we have, all of our vegetables we're trying to grow. So what I'm doing right now is I'm building a temporary pen for him to hang out during the day. We just tried to ring all the farm shops around town and every single farm shop's shut. So what we're doing is this is a temporary enclosure for the weekend. And then Monday when the farm shop opens, we're gonna give him a big run down there. We're gonna build like a proper, proper play pen for him. The thing is, that Bowie is growing, literally. <laughs> Can you stop banging? I'm talking to people. Wait, one minute. Yeah, go on. <laughs> the thing is that Bowie is growing every day and every day he is just more and more advanced. And the couple last days, he is, you can just tell that he is too old and too big to be inside. He is just walking and peeing across the whole kitchen. He is destroying everything inside. If we put him outside, he destroys everything outside. So he needs his, he needs his area. And that's what we are doing because this mom <laughs> needs some rest and needs to get some work done. And it's impossible with Bowie being inside like this. So that's what we are doing. So we are doing a temporary solution just to give him some safe space to play and to give me some break. It's not gonna bite through this wire anytime soon, eh? This is what we are using, just a temporary for now. I'm excited to build him like a proper big pen, playground and everything. Yeah, we're gonna make him this kick-ass enclosure. And hopefully we will find him another mate. Yeah. Let's see if there is some goat we can rescue. We need to get him another goat, that's yeah. for sure. You need little buddy to play with. One of the reasons for my breaking point today is this plate. Boy, he just launched on the kitchen bench, smashed this special to us plate that we were given and he's chewing on the charging cables from our laptops. He is jumping on the table on our laptops, balancing between coffee cups. And just the inside is not the environment for him anymore. He needs to be transitioned outside for I him to be happy. Goat chewing on your bloody plants over there. Yeah, so you see, <laughs> he needs a fence off safety area. Bowie out of there. Look at him. He jumps over this fence. Come on. I've got literally nothing left from this succulent. Stop it! No! You are going to have your fenced off area! <laughs> My plants will be happy, I will be happy! <laughs> Everyone will be happy! We will make you playground there, you will be happy too! Hey! <laughs> Mama can't take this anymore! <laughs> you are doing a really good job! You have no idea what we're building right now, do you mate? 
<laughs> You're it's just only... happily chewing on your measuring tape. It's only here for a bloody two days and then he's gonna be in bush, in his happy place. We are building all of this for you, just literally for two days before the big shops open so we can build something bigger and better. Still love you, still love you. After all of these buildings, you've got some treats inside to try. Some treats? Yeah, I've been baking, cooking, freezing. <laughs> We've been doing it with our people here. What do you think, buddy? Do you like your new enclosure? <laughs> I think he likes it because he doesn't understand yet that he can't leave. <laughs> but this is what we built. You did a sterling job, I must say. Very, very bloody temporary, but it's going to keep him in for the time being. It's big enough for one little baby goat. It's only for a couple of days. And for the hey, night, bud. for the night, I think he's still going to be in our bedroom just because that would be just too much of a shock. So I think for night we are taking him in, but during the day when I need to work or when I need to get something done, he will be here, he's safe, he has stuff to play with and it will give me free hands to do stuff. Boy is in his pen, Mary is getting the fireplace ready and the first treat is coming, green pancakes. Now you can tell us the actual honest truth, what you think about them. <laughs> green pancakes! Oh, here we go. They're actually super green. All you need to do is you need to make an orange and a red and you can make little traffic light things at kids' parties, eh? Look at that, that is as green as it gets. All right, here we go, honest review. Honest review this Smells time. Smells pretty good. Texture looks pretty dope. Let's go. Yeah, they're good. They're real good, actually. They are amazing. They're, I bet you they're healthy as hell, eh? They are really healthy. Mm. But do they taste healthy or do they taste delicious? No, they taste good. They don't taste like, you know when you eat something healthy and you're like, that's so shit, that's not that flavor. So it's good. You like it? Mm. Good. I'm gonna go make it super unhealthy and cover it in Nutella, but I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> what you eating now? <laughs> Where did you get that from? <laughs> Show it to me. Give it to me. Oh, you spit it out. Good boy. That's not good boy. Yeah, that's some sticker. Oh, <laughs> oh. That's just, it was stuck to his top lip. It was like <laughs> stuck on his lip like that. <laughs> How are you liking your enclosure, boy? He's not going to talk back to you. He's a goat. He doesn't realize. There are a couple more things we need to try. We have the carrots from our garden. We have the chocolate that we made together. This is how the chocolate looks like when it's from the freezer. And then we're gonna today try one of the olives I made, if you remember in a couple of vlogs ago. It may be a potential health hazard. <laughs> I have no idea if this is even good to eat, but maybe it's gonna be our guinea pig. Guinea pig. Do you like your roll? Guinea pigs here. <laughs> you wanna start with the carrot? Yes, guinea pigs do like eating carrots. So this is carrot I grew from a seed. Mm, it's pretty impressive, eh? <laughs> Look at that thing! <laughs> it's the funniest shape. Cheers! Let's try our home. Look at that bloody thing! Come <laughs> <laughs> on, oh, let's go. Crunchy. Oh, it's sweet! That is the first... That's such a strong taste of a carrot. It's the first like organic carrot or like you know what i mean yeah. like that's never touched anyone else's hands but ours i've ever eaten that's <laughs> this is real food i love growing our own food that that's is really good. that is really good these are the only carrots we've got then we've got our homemade handmade chocolate so there is a fruit and a nut flavor this is what i'm excited for fruit and nut man fruit and nut mm -hmm. That's hella good. That's delicious. That's really good. Mm. Not even saying it. Remember that chocolate you cooked last time when I was like, that's so shit. So I'm honest. And this is actually really good. This is so good. And then we have another flavor. This is the papaya and chili flavor. Papaya? Papaya and chili. Papaya is chewy. Oh. oh I like that? that hit. How's the chili kick at the end? I like it. It's different. It's like... Yeah, I like the chili one. It makes you up. Give me another go at that. That's good. That's a really good combo. I actually prefer the chili one over the, the sultan one. Really? Mm. It's different. It's like... You want to try some chocolate? 
No, no try some chocolate. Oh, yeah. oh, ay, 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 Can't put this goat anywhere near a table or it will just go to ham on it. Won't you, buddy? No chocolate for you. Uh -uh. So far, so good. But now the olives are coming in play. <laughs> this is the biggest risk. I've just been warned that these things may make me sick. <laughs> and they better not make me sick. I'm gonna get fish tomorrow. They smell good. Give us a go. Oh, it smells like marinated octopus. Show people. Let me show people. It's an olive look. I you just put a whole thing in your mouth. You are brave. It's good. A little bit sour, but sour. Mm. Is it off? I don't know. It's sour. <laughs> I would not. Put it doesn't that taste off. like marinated olives from a shop. But Man. I had a black one. Give me that one. What's that? This is green. Yeah, I don't Look know. Look at that color. That's like a green one, right? Yeah, but they are all the same. Well, I'm not gonna put a whole olive in my mouth. It's like sour. Well, I don't think it should be sour. Good flavor, but I can taste the garlic. Hmm. <laughs> it's not like olives. <laughs> give it a hot tip. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not Greek olives. They're pretty good, but I'll get it. I'll get it. Amazing. I don't they are off. I don't think so. Like, I think it's good. I don't think shit stuff goes off in oil. Don't people preserve eggs for like 10 years in oil? I don't know. Mm. That's sour you are saying. I think that's the bitterness. They are still a little bit bitter. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know. They're pretty good. I need a drink, but... We spent yesterday four wheel driving in the middle of nowhere in the bush. We just went for a very much needed family trip. Just driving around, enjoying the nature, having first time road trip with Bowie. And another reason for that was we were looking to see if we can rescue another goat so baby can have a mate. Because we don't want to buy a goat, we want to rescue if possible. And obviously we didn't find anyone to rescue. When you stumbled upon Bowie... Oh, I'm supposed to talk! <laughs> Yeah, so when we stumbled across Bowie, it is very, very rare to find a goat like the way that I found Bowie in the bush. He was just solo in the middle of nowhere. Mum must have been taken. So we went out on like an absolute leg trying to find another goat yesterday. Couldn't find one. Um, we don't want to take a goat off its mother. We want to find a baby goat by itself and it is a mission. So i got mates with big farms. They're hunters. They're out in their quads with their guns every day. They're looking for, um, they're killing like invasive species on their properties. So I've said, boys, keep your eye out for a baby goat. If you find one in the bush, hit me up. So we've got lots of eyes out in the bush right now looking for goats. Fingers crossed we can find another little mate for Bowie because he's getting sad and he's going crazy. He's going yeah. too quick. You got steroids in that milk you're giving him, eh? <laughs> say it, go, ready, set, just say it, it's easy. And that's it from us for today. We are building the fence for Bowie. We are on a lookout and other people are lookout for his little mate or big mate, doesn't matter, just any goat that needs a new, better home. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy those videos, don't, don't forget to subscribe. It's for free. <laughs> what you're doing there, I can't see you. And I will see you next week in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Ciao.